Okay, I'm going to try to show you all how I do my microdosing. This is... This is a uh, 24 capsule pill maker prepared. They're all empty. It's 100 milligrams of DMSA per capsule. Some of these have already been opened. This one has not been. It doesn't really matter at this point because all I use are the microscopes. Alright, so this is a full one. And somebody that wants to figure out about how much they're dosing can take a full one like this and then use one of these microscopes to scoop everything out. You have to keep track of the number of scoops. If you wind up having powder get spilled, forget using that particular pill to get an estimate. You have to use another fresh pill. Uh, that doesn't mean you have to throw the pill out though. You can keep using it and just write down that you used, you know, whichever particular microscope you have. In my notes, I label this as my yellow microscope. It has a number on it, one to three. Doesn't matter. All that matters is I know when I do a round using single scoops from this, I can rely on the round to be stable, uh, not painful, and something I can tolerate. All right, so what you would do is you would scoop every bit of this powder out and put it one scoop per empty container and then you'd cap all these and fill it with more empty capsules and keep going until you're completely done with the original and then you go back and you count the new pills and whatever that total is, you divide it into your, let's see here, you divide it into your total milligrams. So if I wind up getting 100 scoops and there's 100 milligrams, that means that each new pill has one milligram. Use a calculator if you need to. Okay, so... I'll try to show you the technique as best as I can that I use. Probably going to spill some because uh, I'm trying to film this and this isn't exactly how I normally... I normally have all of this set up on a plate. Alright, so first you have to very carefully open this. And give it a little turn. I'll turn in a squeeze and you can see the powder. Some of it is settling in the shorter portion here over here and basically you want to be ready to pull that up like that see I didn't spill anything and now you bring the other up no spillage again it doesn't really matter if you know the exact milligram or microgram dose just as long as you're getting consistent scoops consistent volume that way you know when you're on a round, if it hurts, it's still too much potentially. Or you may need to dose more frequently. Alright, so there's the powder. Both. And what I usually do is I work out of that one. I take this one. I just set it up there. And I take my scooper. And I go in. Make sure it's full. And I press up against, see it's, it's actually, you can see it's above the top of the scooper a little. And I take this and I press it up. It's kind of hard to see. I can't really twist my wrist. So I take it, press it up so that it's flat. 
and then see you should be able to see that the powder is very flat it's even with the top I take this and there we go there's one down it's a lot easier when you're not trying to film there's a second one and don't lose track and wind up loading like the first or second one or whatever again take the time to look in them if you lost track or if your short-term memory isn't very good I've lost track before and if you screw it up pick the pill out that you screwed up throw it out put a blank one in you don't want that variability that very variability is a big problem all right so I think that should be it for most of the questions that people asked so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause this and if I can't think of anything else I'll oh yeah let me show you this real quick all right so I'm just gonna cap this off and you can keep reusing the, the one that you opened. Just, again, technique for opening opening the thing. Just be real careful and nothing spills. You can put it right back together. All right. So then that goes back into here. And here's what I do. Once this is full, let's see here. Get it to focus. All right, so doesn't want to focus. Here's a new one. All right, so this is a separate bottle. This is my bulk bottle for the new pills. I keep them in with a desiccant. You can see here. These pills don't look like they have anything in them, but they actually have a very tiny quantity. See that? It's white. They have a very tiny quantity. That's one micro scoop. And I wrote that on there initially because I didn't know how much was actually going in. I just know it was one yellow scoop. If I were you, if you're doing one yellow scoop, just label it one yellow scoop. If you take the time to count everything out from a fresh pill, uh, put one yellow scoop and then maybe in parentheses approximately X number of pills per one of these out of the big one. And then you can divide that, like I mentioned before, to find the approximate milligrams. So this yellow scooper produces just under one milligram. Uh, I don't recall off the top of my head, but it's under. So, keep them separated. They're in here. And I only do enough of these for each round. I may go over by a little. It's okay. Uh, I haven't noticed any problem with, like, using them a couple weeks down the line. They seem to be good. And then, the other thing I do is this. I keep this smaller. This is for my keeping in my pocket on me so when my alarm goes off I've got four pills I do four uh, one every three hours so for a half of the day or the uh, qu quarter of the day let me think now <laughs> half of the day tw 12 noon to 12 p.m. or, or 12 a.m. that's four pills total and this makes it easier so that you don't forget if you missed a dose. Your alarm goes off, you look in there, there's two pills, and it's actually 9 o'clock. Well, you missed a dose. Or no, you're on target. If there's three pills there and it's 9 o'clock, you missed a dose. That means you need to skip the rest of the round. So keeping these separate containers will keep you sane and will keep you from accidentally missing doses. So you've got your original with everything in it you've got your uh, larger bulk container where they've been cut and then you've got the ones you keep on you for when you're out traveling or at home and the alarm goes off and you need need to dose and make sure you label everything don't leave anything to chance all right 
that should cover everything.